floor looks dirty as hell. There's just a towel, a sock, and a pair of shorts over there. I have both feet. Both feet are one. It doesn't matter. Just one of fine. Alright guys, so this is Dad's Burmese Python Aphrodite. He's going to be feeding her a chicken for the first time. I uh, wanted to give her a bit of a larger meal than the medium mice that we have. She's about three feet, so she should take this with no problem. Yeah, there we go. Look at her. She's tasting it. Come on, girl. Come on. She's very confused. She hasn't had a chicken yet. Yeah, she'll climb up it. She's trying to figure it out. She don't climb up it and latch onto my fingers. We're all right. Oh, she won't. She's gonna basically go around it and she finds the thickest part before she grabs it. She's weird. There it is, see? Look at that. That. She grabbed the leg. Yeah. She'll figure it out. She won't wrap it. <laughs> you see, as weird as this, she won't wrap it. I, I've never seen a snake that won't wrap. Yeah, that's unusual. I mean, she's taking, taking stricter. Yeah, it's, it's her nature to wrap something up to eat it, you know, and she just kind of grabs it gently. But as long as she doesn't try to eat the leg first, we're all right. Yeah. Hopefully, she'll flip it around. If not, she'll figure it out halfway that she won't be able to eat it like that. But being her first chicken, she has no idea. I was trying to get her to get the head, but she wouldn't take it. Mm -hmm. She's trying to eat it like that. Look at her. Hopefully she'll figure it out. If anything, what I might end up doing is clipping the foot off where the elbow is, and that would eliminate the claws. Yeah. Which won't do much, uh, honestly. But, I mean, they can. They're pretty decent. She's with trying talents. to eat it like that. That's not, not going to work. Okay. That's definitely not going to work. All right, sweetheart. Let's play the wiggle game. The wrong end. This is the end you want. Where is it? Here we go. Now she's going to have there we go. There it is. That'll make her change her grip. Right there. So many people are going to get pissed off. Oh, you're messing with your snake too much. No, we know what we're doing. I've done this a hundred times. If you have a snake that doesn't wrap, and they basically grab and try to eat from the wrong end, if you make them force wrap it by messing with it a whole lot, it's not going to stress the snake out, nor is it going to make them want to stop eating. What it's going to do is make them, it's going to make them kill it, in their own opinion, and basically reevaluate the situation and rebite it. So they won't try to eat where they're at, they'll try to find where the head's at, which would be where the you know, most amount of movement is, which is now down here at this point. So she should flip it around and eat the same. The thing is, with a Burmese python, their natural first response food is birds. She's trying to eat it mm -hmm. the way it is, so I'll just have to let her figure it out. So just sit there and struggle with it for a few minutes. I mean, the rat snake is already over here devouring a chicken. Looks like, looks like she's taking it by the feet, so that's a good thing. Alright, Aphrodite, what well, are you doing? Two feet. I know. That's not going to work. Not on this one, no, but that one, she got that one by the head. Oh, she, she got yeah. that one by the head? Yeah, here she's pulling it out now. She might have squeezed it out. Oh, yeah, look at her. She knew exactly what to do. She's ate enough quails in her life already to know. These are not quails, by the way. These are chickens that we got from American Road Supplier. Which, funny enough, they're actually just a little bit bigger than my, uh, my juvenile quails are right now. I actually think my quails are a bit thicker bodied than the chickens are. 
But the thing with Burmese python is when they're born, they are an arboreal species, so they do like to climb. So a lot of their forage is actually going to be birds, so they have to figure it out in the wild, so I'm just going to let her figure it out here in nature. Take your card. It's a take your card. Okay. So there's the head. So. She says, don't look at me. Yeah, that's exactly what she says. She says, don't look at me, I'm hideous. No, you're not. You're freaking beautiful. Had three good feedings since we got her. One in the awesome shed. The uh, rat snake is going pure champion over here. Oh, yeah, you got that one right there. Oh, yeah, she did. She did. Yeah. Oop. What happened? <laughs> She's running from you. That gonna think it looks like a moray eel right now. <laughs> he really does coming out that tree. And I know people are gonna spot the corn snake at the bottom. Don't worry, it, it, it's not a big deal. You guys have food, calm down. I think basically what will happen. I really tried to do that mass after that really sucks. Yeah. You wanna have some harder. And I don't wanna see her regurgitate it and leave it alone, you know? Yeah, well if she regurgitated, she definitely won't eat it again. So that just means I won't be able to feed her chicks right now until a little bit further when she gets another foot on her, maybe close to two pounds, something like that. Cause she's probably like, well, she might be two pounds. I'm not sure, actually. We have to weigh her and measure her. But I definitely know she's at three feet. She, she's, long, she's long now. Like, she's from here to the you know, tip of my shoe. But the thing is, snakes are strong, got really big jaws, and they'll latch around, and they'll crawl over whatever surface. Yeah, but I mean, if, if those were to be taken wrong, mm -hmm. Couldn't those claws cut her? Yeah. All the uh, way down? That's fair. Yeah, I mean, I guess they could. I mean, if yeah. I had a pair of toenail clippers, I'd just take the toes off real quick. In fact, if I had a pair of wire snips, that'd be better. Just take the whole damn foot off. Uh, but what it looks like she's doing is she's folding it up so the legs are going up to the head, so the whole thing's going to go down in one big ball with the head and the feet here. That's the way it looks so far. I mean, you can see both feet right here. Both? Both feet are right here. So yeah, and there's her head. So she's going to swallow it like a giant ball. Oh, God. I well, mean, that might be bad on them. A small possibility, yeah, but I mean, they can eat something two to three times the size of the thickest portion of their body, which would be right she's about so here. Beautiful. Look how she's glistening in her white. I know. I have not had a snake. We have not had a snake that have, has the <laughs> snake that has done that. I mean, it's almost like she's covered in glitter with each scale, it's like yeah. a dragon. All right, guys, don't freak out. That blood is from the uh, mouth. Actually, the uh, yeah, right here. See. All right, so what I just did was to help ease my uh, father's conscience, and if there was any sort of possibility of her regurgitating, I went on ahead and took a pair of scissors, and I cut the toes off. I was only able to get to this foot, though, because she's already got the other foot in her mouth, so. Ah, oh, my phone does that. We got rid of the toes, my flashlight went out on my phone because it went under 15% of the <laughs> There we go, Dad. Oh, oh, she'll have no problem with that. Good girl. This wing, though, I mean, come on. Oh! What wing? That wing, the, that, that chicken wing, they're gone. Look, look at that. That's feathers. She got it, didn't she? Yes, she did. No problem. Other color, the color, the colors that pythons do when they're eating. Is she working it? Yeah. See, it's kind of No, I'm looking at what's right in here. She gone. <laughs> yep. Nah, 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 egg, egg, no, no. I know I smell like it, but no. <laughs> Dude, she was ready for another one. You see that feeding response? Yeah, she's ready for more. She could eat two of them right now. Oh, yeah. Might as well get used to it by the time she's up there. 
fucking 15, 20 foot, she gonna be eating a couple of chicken birds. Mm-hmm. Oh. A couple chicken birds or uh, a couple of pigs occasionally. There's some monster rabbits, but that rabbit the way I rabbits. look at it is, is uh, uh, chicken birds are a lot easier to come by at the grocery store. Yeah. You know, a whole chicken. Mm-hmm. Just unthaw it and make sure you get the giblets out of it. Yeah. Because a lot of times they got paper in there too. Oh, and yeah. they got them wrapped up in a bag or something, so you gotta be real careful doing that. But just honestly speaking, mm-hmm. I have no clue where in the world at 15 to 20 foot we're gonna get great big gigantic rabbits at or pigs. Um, but chickens are much easier to come by at the grocery store. Definitely, but I do know where to get rabbits from. Yeah. Uh, if you look up uh, rodent suppliers in Indiana, yeah. they'll bring it up, but I cannot remember what the name is, but it's like $3 a pound on a rabbit. It's like well, 3 10-pound rabbit's 30 bucks. Yeah. Which, at that rate, you just go easier and, you know, just grow your own. <laughs> All right, guys, so this yeah. is... There's no sense in having... 300 rabbits running around when you got a snake that eats once a month. <laughs> uh, we're not going to power feed her. I don't want to mess her up. No, no, definitely not. So one feeding, one decent feeding every two weeks, I think would be good for her. Okay. Uh, for Something now like while that, she's yeah. young. And then once she gets older, uh, you know, seven, eight, ten feet long, that's a one a month feeding situation right okay. there with like, you know, your chickens, your rabbits. Yeah, I mean, we Rats, <laughs> like, to, like to see her grow and get up to size and all that, but everything I've heard it that power feed them messes them up. So, mm-hmm. especially at that one video you showed me where those two were siblings. The boas? Yeah, and the one was her size and the other one was like friggin' 12 feet long and mm-hmm. 40 pounds or whatever it was. Right. One was power fed and the other was fed normally. Yeah, one was the baby, the smaller one, the one that still like was a hatchling was fed once every three weeks versus the one uh, that was about 10 and a half feet long, 14 pounds. It was fed every weekly, uh, two mice a week. And that just overdid that animal. It grew so fast. It, it, it would give it. Well, just yeah. use your own judgment on this. I mean, we don't. We want her to grow, of course, but you don't want to mess her up to where she can't be reproductive, or you don't want to mess up her health. Yeah, you definitely don't want to take her life expectancy. expectancy no, no, don't down take away her life expectancy. You know, I mean, she was bought as a pet, not specifically as a breeder. In fact, nothing we have is you know meant to be breeder. Everything that we've picked up has is pet but if in the future the situation arises where we can you know there's no reason not to help their genetics go no on. that's just running around looking for more mm-hmm. yep there it is yep thick part of the body so basically this is oh, whoa <laughs> you haven't learned yet all right no she hasn't learned or you <laughs> haven't learned <laughs> what, what what haven't learned, learned. So basically this is just all neck to about this point right here and then this is basically where your stomach will start at this is just mid no you're cute but no this is like you got body more? stomach well the tongue doesn't smell like it more more no aphrodite you're done one's good enough for this week oh oh she got sad about that oh you upset her i'm Aww. sorry aphrodite Fourteen. we love you yeah guys, so basically this is Aphrodite, my dad's Burmese python. This is one of his dream snakes. He's been talking <laughs> up for a long time now. Don't freak out. I personally work with Burmese pythons. My dad has not. No. Uh, but the thing is, my dad has done an absolute buttload oh. of research on this girl. He spent months sending me links to articles and videos, <laughs> sending me YouTube links of Brian Barcheks <laughs> and everybody else. And he's like, this is what I want. He's like, if I get one big snake, this is what I want. And I had the option of picking this up at the expo or a reticulated python, and I went on ahead and picked up the berm. Because I think the berm just looks better. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it, it's, it's not a flashy snake, it's not an in-your-face snake, but it's an iconic snake that everybody knows. And good lord, is she pretty. <laughs> you see heat, you see heat. I know those little short jerks you do with that flat. no. No. <laughs> I know what you're doing, I know berms. Yep, yeah. stop it. <laughs> Over. I'm gonna get bit if I'm if I get too close. I say she go get you. Be careful. Yes, she is. Oh, there she goes. She she got off the scent. All right, guys. So 20 minute video, longest video I think I've uploaded in a, in a year or two. Uh, anyway, anything you want to say real quick about Aphrodite, Dad? I love her. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. She's my baby. And we didn't discuss that. You know, we don't want to power feed her, mm-hmm. mess her up, or nothing like that. So. 
let nature do what nature's supposed to do. And Continue to I do have a question though. What's up? Since you fed her chicken, uh -huh. now that she's got the scent and flavor of chicken, what about these quails? I mean, is she going to be freaking out because I don't know if quails and chickens smell the same or not. I've never, I've never sniffed them. So, I mean, that could is that be kind of a torture thing for her. Is what I'm looking at. Something might drive her a little, a little batty because hey, that's food. Honestly, I, I never even thought of that being a yeah. possibility. That's like, you know, having a snake in a room full of rats, you know? It's yeah, it's like raising a snake in a room full of rats and you feed it rats. Huh. This is kind of like a little bit of a, like a moral dilemma here, isn't it? Yeah, you might need to ask some of your subscribers there or whatever, anybody watching, and maybe they'd have an idea on that one. Because you do have the babies right here. And then... And then you got the biggins down there, yeah. and she's in the same room, and... The room's only like, what is this, 12, 12 by 14 or something we measured that one time? Yeah, 12 by 14. So I guess maybe she's not right on top of them. Well, I mean, she's about five She's about five feet away. And in the tub with ventilation holes, she's going to smell them. Uh, huh. So, well, I mean, the thing is, this summer, once the weather warms up and stays up, I've got a, a swinging cage outside that I built up with what? Well, I just watch that, um, so yeah. the neighbors aren't looking at nothing but a... Paper towel. Yeah. Um, so basically, what I'm gonna do is instead of letting them run in the chicken coop because that's just gonna be dangerous for them with the rats and the cats and everything else like that, I happen to have a suspended chicken, a suspended <coughs> cage inside of there, zip tied to the roof, and uh, that should, you know, be a better thing. But that wouldn't be 24/7. But since can still be. I don't know. I feel like it will. I mean, she hasn't had quails yet. She's only had chickens, but quails and chickens, it's still the same foul scent. Yeah, if they smell the same, they both eat the same food. I mean, and yeah. I don't know if they technically smell, but they do. I would say odds are <clears throat> you're feeding her those baby chicks, uh -huh. and she gets accustomed to them. If you end up feeding her quail, I don't think she'll hesitate to take it. Oh, definitely not. And that, that's kind of the sad reality for the future and why I started breeding quails is because quails are easy to propagate. Yeah. You know... 14 days they start hatching, you know, two months they're adults, you know, two and a half months they're laying eggs or less. So, breeding them simple and making snake food is also very simple, which is what originally these guys were for. What's up, telescopic? But, yeah, on that, on that note, guys, I think this will drive her nuts, and I will definitely have to figure something else out. Maybe a scent locker, maybe put some lavender around her cage. Ooh, <laughs> no. <yeah. laughs> That'll keep me out. Yes, it will. But anyway, um, Dad, you want to take us out? Any, uh, uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, y'all know we love all these critters, and et cetera, et cetera. And thanks for watching. Anything else? <laughs> you should really do YouTube. You, should, you remind me so much of Edward, it's not funny. When you're talking, it sounds like Edward Tyndall. So I was going to say Edward Tyndall. It sounds just like him. Uh, but yeah, I guess you uh, settled everything up in a nutshell right there. So I don't. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we will see you next time. See you next time. Oh, he blacked out. Later.